Welcome everyone. Welcome to this Valentine's Day special that I have for you guys running tarot readings for only the signs requested. Okay, so if you don't see your sign here, it's because it wasn't requested. How do you request? Well, you know, you got to be my subscriber. You got to hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified and I let people know when I'm doing these things so that they can comment on my community page and let me know. All right, so um, yeah, hit the bell and subscribe if you want to get readings for your sign in the future. And for those of you interested in a private reading, because reminder, it's not a private reading. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. And if you want a private reading, well, wait to the very end and I will give you the details for that. Enjoy. Aquarius, welcome on in. Welcome on in and have, I hope you're having a happy birthday. <laughs> yes, it's Aquarius season. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am Team Aquarius all the way here. Mm-hmm. Third Deacon Aquarian. Mm-hmm. Y'all let me know in the comments down below, um, you know, when your birthday is, if you're first or second or third Deacon. And for those of you who are like, what is she talking about, Deacons? What are you, like an early born? Aquarian or um, later born, like I am more Pisces leaning. So basically, if you're first decan, you were born between January 21st and January 29th, very Capricorn leaning. Um, if you're second decan, you were born January 30th through February 8th. And um, if you're like me, third decan Aquarian. Um, born between February 8th and February 18th. Very Piscean leaning. So ruled by Venus if you're third decan. If you're second decan, ruled by Mercury. If you're first decan, you're more ruled by Saturn and Uranus. So for some of you are like, what is she talking about? It's astrology, people. It's astrology. My gosh. Those of you who know me well know that I like to get into the astrology, but for this particular reading, we're going to keep it straight tarot. Yes, we are. Um, but yeah. Y'all want to know more about astrology, definitely keep following this channel because I definitely talk about it and it helps make sense of this senseless world at times. <laughs> All right. So, um, yes, we are going to do a quick five card spread here to find out what's going on with your love life. And, you know, if you're single, hopefully we're going to get a love message for you as well. Um, remember, everybody, you know, is on a different timeline. So, you know, this uh, might be past, present, future, okay? Some of you, you know, that just came out randomly, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> Unfortunately, um, you might be dealing with situations right now where um, finances, career are taking precedence in your life. Um, ahead of, of love and romance. For others of you, you know, if you're in a romantic relationship, that kind of indicates to me that um, there's some difference of values here in your relationships that you need to kind of hone in on uh, coming into alignment with people that you actually share values with. Okay, let's do a quick five card spread for Aquarius. Aquarius is love life. Right. At the foundation, well, you've got Hierophant in reverse. You know, that kind of goes on along with what I saw in your 2022 reading in the love portion. For those of you who didn't catch it, I'll put it at the end of this video so you can watch it. But it's, you know, there's a lack of commitment here with a Hierophant in reverse. This is somebody um, also maybe not giving you the support that you need. Um, and it could be a broken marriage for some of you. I think the main issue uh, with the King of Chalices in reverse, somebody is not emotionally available or perhaps, um, you know, they've got a lot of emotions, but they're not really um, handling them in a mature way. They could be, you know, moody. They could be manipulative. They can be secretive, holding the emotions back. Um, not a fan, not a fan. And then Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I think in the past, uh, there might have been some dependency issues, sorry to say. And again, might have been with money. Um, uh, some of you 
just felt like you didn't have dominion over, you know, your love life. Like it was out of your control. Maybe felt that you were dependent on someone financially or because of financial issues, you just couldn't get the traction in your life to move forward. Um, some of you were forced to put your career, your money, your work ahead of your love life. In the future, I am seeing that you're, you know, waiting on something. You're biding your time, okay? Um, some of you are having secret relationships. Some of you are having clandestine relationships. And if you're having, uh, you know, an open relationship with someone, it could be that the two of you are not really opening up. Again, it goes back to this main issue of emotions are being held back. And, it, and I'm getting with both of these cards some kind of secrecy having to do with things on an emotional, spiritual level, some kind of uh, secrecy. And uh, maybe hidden agendas where um, somebody's not really showing you all their cards. They're not being transparent. They're not being vulnerable. And, and really, <sighs> I am seeing a need for secrets to come out, okay? Um, but I think that also, um, for some of you, you know that you've got to kind of hold back on sharing some things because uh, you decide that's the wise thing to do, that you're going to keep things under wraps for now. The foundation to a pentacles where there we go again with money or somebody's trying to you know uh, negotiate some change in their life uh maybe trying to get from one option to the next you know either this is a financial issue that you're trying to balance out in your life so you can get traction with your love life you know or this is um being partnered with people where it's like wow we don't we don't have the same values here how do i work with this how do I uh, move forward? Somebody might be embarrassed about how do I approach this situation? How do I, um, how do I proceed? There's some kind of uncertainty or fear of getting involved. Okay. That's at the foundation here. I, I'm, I'm honestly, the more I look at these cards. Okay. Uh, the more I'm just like, mm. I'm getting a lot of lunar, like moon energy, hidden, veiled, I, even though the moon's not coming up. Um, the overarching energy here is king of wands. So I am seeing possibly a water sign or a fire sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, regardless of signs, and that might be a Virgo as well, regardless of signs. Um, not a fan of this outcome because that's telling me that somebody here is um, not paying attention to their intuition and oddly this is in the future where somebody it looks like maybe somebody here is listening to their intuition and somebody here isn't okay um i'm also seeing that somebody is not willing to listen or they're very self-interested and impulsive. And that's why you're getting a lack of support, a lack of commitment, might be a Taurus, is relevant. I'm going to put this off to the side. We'll come back to that if we need to. Let me get some overall themes for this relationship. Overall themes for this. Wow, it's messy. It's messy. So I'm being brought back to that King of Chalices in reverse card. Why were those men in reverse? Damn, the kings were in reverse, and so was the Hierophant. I'm getting a masculine energy is just upside down here, okay? And something is, is just messy, all right? Do you see that? These cards just all want to come out. Okay, that just fell out in my lap. So the butterfly stabbed in the back. Wedding rings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Abundance. Okay. So I'm being brought back to this. So this would, you know, in the upright be about marriage, commitment. Okay. Um, but, but I'm seeing that, you know, you, you, something's not right. Okay. I, even if you're married to this person, there's a, some kind of something's, something's off about it. All right. Uh, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Um, but with a stabbed in the back, somebody feels some kind of um, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. The butterfly relationship evolving to the next level, healing the inner child, growth, and then abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. 
Uh, that's, that's a really interesting message. I feel honestly, uh, for some of you who are like, I'm not in a marriage, I'm not in a commitment at all. I'm totally single. I feel that this has been an energy that you've dealt with, um, in the past where, um, you've gotten yourself into commitments with people who have betrayed you in some way or left you feeling alone. Others of you feel that you have been cut off from commitments, but the advice here or the outcome, what I'm really seeing is that this is evolving into something better for you. So try to stay encouraged. And for those of you who are in commitments or marriages where, you know, again, there's been some kind of feeling that you have been betrayed in some way, um, that's evolving. Okay. So stay encouraged. Love yourself first. Well, oh my goodness. I mean, how many times does Aquarius, the other focus sign, have to be, we're the most other focus signed in the zodiac, and we have to be reminded of this. If you want to know how to love yourself first, get around an Aries. <laughs> They'll show you, right? Because Aries is about the I am, right? I am Aries, right? And they'll show you how to prioritize yourself. So really good at it. <laughs> All right. What else is a love advice? Getting to know each other, retreat, make the effort. Okay. So what I'm really seeing here is that, um, you know, if you are involved with somebody, uh, you need to, you need to have some heart to hearts. And I think that it's a heart to heart where, you know, it needs to just be the two of you having some uninterrupted quality time, quality conversations, the effort needs to be made on those ends. Okay. But I do feel at the end of the day, Aquarius, you need to ask yourself, is this a loving decision for me? Cause I can say as an Aquarian with my three Aquarius placements, um, I've, I really had to work on this, right? Cause we can, we can lose ourselves in other people, especially if you're like me, uh, third decan Aquarius, very Piscean, right? Uh, we can get lost in, in other people. We can, especially if you're an empath, you start uh, absorbing other people's energy. And then, you know, it takes some maturity and spiritual practice and discipline to learn to discern and separate your feelings and emotions from theirs, right? Because you get around somebody long enough, you start absorbing it and the boundaries get blurred as to what is yours and what is theirs on an emotional level. And you just start, right, the Aquarius wants to serve and give and all of that. Again, for those of you who are more Piscean leaning, okay, I generally think it's an Aquarian issue, but I think those of you who are more first decan Aquarians are going to have an easier time um, separating things out, right? Sorry for my cat. She just doesn't care that we're filming. So <laughs> anyway, um, love yourself first. And, and you know what? While we're on that subject, let's get some self-loving advice for Aquarius. There we are. Find balance. Be nimble. I do feel that, yeah, you need to, um, you know, you need to balance things out, right? And I saw that here with that two of pentacles, okay, um, where there's some kind of need for adjustment. Um, and this is saying when we ask for help, we are sometimes called to be flexible when it arrives in an unexpected form. Um, but find balance okay and again with this yin and yang energy i'm getting back to this as well i really feel it's tying into this message at the foundation where it's like <clears throat> them versus you again if there's a misalignment of values or in a, in a relationship or you're at this crossroads where the choice is you know love or money you know private life versus public career um what are you going to do there's some kind of need to at one, on one hand, you know, be open to flexing and flowing, but on the other hand, don't get off into an extreme because this is about, I'm hearing your needs versus theirs, okay? Um, everything in moderation, including moderation, swinging from one extreme to another can put one out of balance. Find your peace within. Let me kind of uh, bring that up a little bit closer so you can see these cards. So I don't, I think that actually whatever this is that you're weighing out or having to adjust to is not, not necessarily what I'm getting intuitively. It's not about them, their way versus your way. It's about, um, can you find a win-win solution? I know I say this a lot in my readings, um, particularly with my, you know, the content that I put out on relationship coaching 
and you know uh, the content that I put out on healing from narcissistic abuse you know we, we've got it it's and it's not easy how can how can I help you help me right this type of dynamic it's not a my way or your way or a you know me versus you it's you know that my way or the highway it's a how do both of us get our needs met it's going to take some some adjustment i'm feeling led to look at uh what what the differing values are here because i'm feeling like something's off with values okay so um their values versus yours um somebody likes to be in control of things okay one person here wants to be in control of things they want security somebody wants security what about the other person what does the other person want what does the other person want what does the other person want what does the other person in the dynamic want i'm feeling this one independence Self-direction, they want self-sufficiency, self-reliance. Anything else? Okay, so I'm hearing also this might be the same person. You're gonna have to take it as it applies. Um, let me sit with this and sort this out because I feel like something is getting mixed here. And again, there's, I'm reading to so many people, you're going to have to take it as it applies. But I do feel like um, all right, this is what I'm getting intuitively. I feel that there's one person here who's very much about their being staying in their power and maintaining their independence and in their ability. I think both people here want success. They have goals that they're trying to achieve. Um, another person here is about, you know, um, having meaning in life, having a purpose in their life, having meaningful relationships. And I think family is very, very important to this person. I'm going to um, go a little bit deeper. Let me put these off to the side. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into these energies. What is this person? I was going to say think. I don't know what that the death card in reverse. Okay. It could be a Scorpio is relevant, but I'm also getting this energy of um, somebody is very resistant to change or they're afraid of change. Like they're very much, um, I, I'm get. I heard non-negotiable when that card came out non-negotiable like i'm not going to negotiate on this i'm going to stay in my power i'm going to maintain my autonomy my ability to self-direct my path in life wow which is a beautiful thing i'm going to take the upright cards um and now i'm seeing possibly an aries with an emperor and wheel of fortune in reverse so again with that emperor i'm seeing an issue here of wanting to maintain control in a situation that is out of their control <laughs> oddly all right um and again i'm seeing the signs the fixed signs aquarius scorpio taurus leo but wheel of fortune in reverse you know is th th this is kind of an, a, an irony here it's like i want to control a situation that's not in my control is what that's telling me And I'm getting the idea is particularly like this is a masculine energy here with the emperor of I don't like change. I don't, I don't, um, I have a fear of change. I'm going to resist change. I'm going to, I'm, it's my way or the highway. Um, but again, something is not, not in this person's control. Uh, and it might have to do with what's being invested in over the long term, making a long term investment. I am seeing here with a page of swords, there's a lot of thinking and maybe even talking about it. But I don't know, I'm feeling more of a thinking energy. Somebody is really considering what they're going to invest, what they're willing to invest over the long haul. But I'm also getting this very persevering type of um, like I'm sticking to my guns and this is their mindset.
and they might even be communicating that to you. Let me, let me see. If that's not the other person, Aquarius, apply that to you, but I do feel that that's probably the other person, okay? Let's see what you're, what are you thinking about this situation? What are you thinking about this situation? All that came out. There's that Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay. So, um, hmm. Let me put this down as well. All right, so let me go back to that real quick. Um, this person, I, I don't, I think that they, there's some worry attached to this, okay? And I feel like there's some kind of anxiety of losing control, but they don't understand your, you know, there's, there's, there's only so much that you're in control of in this world, right? Right, I can't control what other people do. Neither can you. It's a lot of mental energy expended here and it's not it's not comfortable energy if you if you ask me you know because it's almost like you're, this person is fighting the wind almost <laughs> this person's fighting the wind i don't know what the deal is like <laughs> anyway i'm sorry i don't mean to laugh okay but let me go back to you aquarius let's let's look at where you're coming from um some of you you know you might have a friendly connection with this person um but I'm getting some kind of resistance here. Um, it might also be with these three cups, some type of emotional connection is being resisted in like really coming together, joining your cups together. Cause I've seen uh, something with resistance and uh, it might have to do with some karma. Okay. Some kind of soul lesson that you have to learn again about shared values. Is this somebody that you can build a life with? For others of you, it might have to do with your career, your reputation out in the world, okay? And how do you go about getting expansion and progress in your life? How do you manifest those, you know, big picture plans for your life? There's some kind of karmic lesson here. I'm going to say, you know, the signs that are showing up are, you know, Libra, possibly. Cancer or Sagittarius. But yeah, I don't, I don't feel like, uh, well, and I'm being brought back to that three of wands. Are you waiting? Are you waiting for forward movement progress in your life? Are you waiting for the right person to come in? Because again, if you're with somebody right now and you feel like this is somebody who is not bringing me expansion and progress in my life, are you waiting some of you might be talking to this person about how do we get forward movement? How do we get expansion? How do we progress this situation? How can we get on the same page with our values? Maybe you don't have to, you know, totally agree with my values and I don't have to totally agree with yours, but is can we help each other get what we value out of this exchange? Can we do that? It's just a thought. How are they feeling? How are they feeling? Mm -mm -mm. I just felt mess there again. Mess. So I'm going to say, you know, going back to the whole feels, right? Oh, there it is. Loving, relieved. This is somebody who's like emotionally blocked. And I saw that was at the foundation, the main issue here. There's some kind of emotional blockage here. So I do feel that this person feels some kind of affection or tenderness towards you and in some way you know maybe around you they they feel some kind of relief they feel some kind of being put at ease around you they have really tender feelings towards you but again i don't know if they're showing it because i'm getting that there's some kind of blockage there oh oh 
they want something. There's some kind of longing here. Anything else? Those just popped up. We'll take them. It's a lot of fields. A lot of fields. Happy, grateful, creative. These are all positive things. My gosh. My gosh. But I'm getting control issues here. And I just heard controlling outcomes. Okay? Somebody is worried. Somebody is using a lot of mental energy to calculate to examine what am I going to put in on this? How am I going to stay in control? How am I going to stay in my power and direct my course in life? In a world where things are not all in my control. Nope, not going to budge. Not going to budge. But look at all these lovely feelings here. I mean, listen, this entire deck, I'm going to keep going, all right? I'm going to go for you and see how you feel. But this entire deck, <laughs> that just hopped. What are you grieved about, Aquarius? There's something heartbroken there. Didn't we get that before? Yes, we did. Heartbreak. I don't know if this is a current energy or an old energy, okay? Again, maybe with the karma there, you dealt with this. You dealt with these lessons in love. What Both of you are dealing with anxiety, my God. Both of you are dealing with anxiety. I think this person's afraid of losing control of the situation. Okay. The, you or whoever this person is afraid of vulnerability. That you're not going to be protected. That you're not going to be defended. I do think this person comforts you in some way. All right. Um, anything else for Aquarius's feelings towards this person? I'm feeling that. I think you respect them too. In some way, you admire them or you show respect to them in some way. Uh, they might help you get centered. They might help calm you. I think the two of you all do that to each other, all right? Because I saw that with this person. There's some things in common here where it's like you put them at ease. They calm you. They center you. It's really a beautiful thing. But I, I what I'm getting out of this spread is... Um, Oh, God, are you afraid this person's going to embarrass you or humiliate you? Yeah. And leave you feeling like you're not worthy of more, right? And I think it goes back to this. What, are you, I'm not valued? You're, you're, this is not a worthy investment? Really going to stress and overthink about what you're going to put in on this? Like, I'm not worthy? Um, for some of you, again, I'm going to go back to that that... That justice card over there, I feel like it's a karmic issue. If you've been in relationships where you felt like, um, you know, these commitments where people just didn't, um, didn't take your best interests as their own. In some way, they betrayed you, left you feeling alone, unworthy. Um, you don't want to risk vulnerability again. I'm seeing one person, uh, both people are anxious, but for different reasons. This one's afraid of, I'm afraid of losing control. This one's afraid of, I'm not going to be valued and I'm not going to be protected. I, I'm, I'm yet to see how the situation's going to evolve. Um, let's go into what this person is thinking of you. Aquarius, you feel like home to me. Well, I mean, I kind of saw it here. I, there's something about your love nature that um, is soothing, is very comforting to this person. I just have to do something else right now. Please try to understand. Might have to do with work-related career stuff. Money, maybe. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, wow. Okay. Our connection still affects me. Well, yeah, because they've got good feelings about that connection. Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. This person is very, like, a self-determined person. Very self-determined. It's easier to just stay away right now. Mm. And what about Aquarius? 
What about Aquarius? What is Aquarius thinking towards this other person? What is Aquarius thinking towards this other person? I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Oh my God, see, it's I'm getting confirmation on that karmic stuff. Like, is this person, their need to stay in control? Is this person making you feel like, oh man, I'm going to get exploited again. I'm going to get exploited again. I'm feeling that one. I'm reminded of you constantly. You two think about each other a lot, a lot. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. <laughs> oh, take it or leave it. Um... I, I, I don't know. I'm an Aquarian. That card does not resonate with me. I'm not looking up anybody. I'm not looking up anybody online. They can look my ass up. How about that? <laughs> they can look me up. Uh, I don't know how I feel anymore. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's, you know what? There's feelings there. Okay. But Aquarius, if you're like, I, I'm, I'm getting you're afraid to feel. All right. That's what I'm getting. If you don't know how you feel, it's because you're afraid. Afraid of what you feel. All right. I'm a better person because of you. So this person has really benefited you. I'm, I've never forgotten you, even though I think I have. That's for both of you. Um, the two of you actually think about each other a lot. And uh, you have very fond feelings towards each other. But, um, I, you know, I'm getting some... Intimacy problems here. I'm going to be straight with you, okay? Um, the shadow energy here between the two of you is that there's some kind of dependency going on, all right? Where, or afraid of dependency. Somebody's afraid of being, having somebody dependent upon them. Or, again, uh, afraid of depending on another person that they're going to be exploited. Anything else? What other shadow energy is here? Secretive, I told y'all, fixated, uncomfortable. Well, you know, we got the secretive stuff before with that high priestess. And frankly, I think that um, this is about, you know, vulnerability. Okay, this is about, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel or I'm afraid to feel because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose control of this situation or I'm going to be exploited. And again, I'm going to go back to what I said before with the um, intimacy problem. Somebody's not comfortable with feeling or the feelings of others. With that fixated card. I'm getting a couple things here. I'm getting a sexual energy that is... Um, For some of you, the sexual energy, the, the, there's almost some kind of fixation on the sexual energy, okay? Um, but for others of you, this is a fixated on my way or the highway, me versus you, this type of nonsense that, frankly, is not good for relationships. So I want to go a little bit deeper and find out what is this person going to invest in. Wow. Tell me more. Tell me more. <gasps> uh, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? What are they going to invest in? Yeah, I'm not getting anything else on that. Um, okay. I I don't I don't get a good feeling about this. Okay. I feel that this person's investment over the long term, um, again, more about karma here. You know, they've got karma, you've got karma. Um, their karma is attached to maybe family matters. Um, I'm also seeing having a relationship that is actually healthy 
growing and thriving, but there's some kind of ending attached here to it. Um, by the way, this can also be a health issue. I, I don't, I mean, God, I'm getting several messages here, several messages. Right out the gate, what I saw on the love front is that I think after they evaluate things, they're going to decide to end something with a family dynamic. It could have to do with health. It could also have to do with a relationship that's healthy, thriving, growing. One of two things going to happen here. There's going to be just total cut off separation. Or there's going to be an ending that makes way for a new beginning because this eight is very transformative. Where did we see that from? That was like a, this is a very scorpionic, um, wow, with that butterfly, right? Very scorpionic. This things are going to evolve and go to the next place, but it's going to phase, I should say. But it's going to have to occur after some healing, okay? And healing is not always a pleasant experience. Um, I know new agers don't, you know, like to portray it that way, but go down to a burn unit at a hospital and see how pleasant that is, right? Um, I do think that after a time of separation, um, you know, whether you return back to that relationship or not, uh, there is going to be a lot of growth. Things are going to get healthy, and this is something that is really faded. But I am also seeing there's a family matter, um, Again, there's some heaviness around it, and that's it's very transformative change, very deep. And again, the new beginning starts with maybe a harsh ending, okay? It's, it's pretty intense, the transformation that's going on, but it's faded. There's no way. Both of these are really heavy cards here, okay? Both of these are very heavy cards. But in the center of it, I see growth and something healthy and healing coming from whatever this heaviness is. And if it doesn't have to do with a healthy, thriving relationship and love, then it's got to do with, you know, um, family or health matters. I am concerned, though, just be aware that they're, you know, I, I hesitate to say this. Somebody's health might be really bad right now. Okay. Obviously, that's not all of you. What is, uh, what is Aquarius afraid of being vulnerable about? What is Aquarius afraid of being vulnerable about? Oh, this has been going on for a long time, long, long time about the exchange between you and other people. And, you know, again, I'm getting might have to do with money is in some way, uh, you know, it, it could be yeah, an exchange of actual money values. OK, but some of you, um, it's just the give and take in relationships and what you've been wanting. What do you wish for? What are your ambitions? Um, maybe having to do with that ideal partner. But again, this has been this has gone on for a long, long time. And so some of you have this ideal in your mind about what kind of exchange you want to have with a soulmate. But if you have dealt with so much grief and let down over this for so long, you're like, I just don't know. I just don't know if I can like open myself up to that anymore like if you see the writing on the wall and this person is t flat telling you this is non-negotiable you're like yeah i don't want to open myself up to that <sighs> you know that's the over the hills and through the woods type of card right there like both of you have goals okay there's the goal right there but it's just like not a straightforward path there's a lot of thinking going on and maybe a lot of talking that needs to go on to kind of work through this but you know, what do they want? What do they want? What do they want? Some of them are looking at making progress with their lives materially right now. On the love front, it's just slow, steady, um, but they want progress. They're looking for stability and security and progress, things to move forward in their life in that way. Um, might like a lot of sex, too. I mean, I am, am not going to lie to you with all those rods, right? Um, materially, in terms of, like, security and stability, they want that to be solid, okay? But they also, this is somebody who likes a lot of sex. Okay, what do they need? What do they need? What do they need? Oh dear. Well, there's a conflict. There's some kind of conflict, maybe on the home front or in the way that they communicate in terms of what they, 
I think when the two of you don't agree on stuff, they need stability here and they, they want, um, that's an interesting message. I think they need truth in conversations. I do think that they need um, stability and blessing on the home front and in terms of having a harmonious relationship. Um, but I think that they, you know, on the needs end of it, they need to realize uh, where there are differences of opinion and disagreement and how do they maintain that harmony and stability and positive outlook and blessing in situations where they're not able to have a win-win. We're going back to that win-win stuff. Where did I see that before? Um, I think that was on the cards having to do with this from the very beginning. It's not my way or your way or my way versus the highway. It's, you know, how can we get into agreement? How can we find blessing and harmony and truth and healing in the way that we communicate, in the way that we find comfort in one another? They need to learn how to do this. But the, what they want, I'm seeing as a lot of sex and they want things to just be stable and secure. Um, what you want is partnership. You want to make plans for your future. What else does Aquarius want? What else does Aquarius want? What else does Aquarius want? You want, you want romance in your life. There we go again with the partnership. You also want stability and security. on issues in your life that just you haven't had success with. You haven't been able to get closure, okay? Uh, with that world in reverse, those are issues in your life where you, um, you've got unfinished business and it might have to do with money or it might have to do with partnering with people who have not given you um, the ability to feel safe and secure to really open up with them. Or maybe you did in the past, but you opened up to the wrong people. And you've not been able to get closure on this issue, okay? But no, I'm, again, seeing like the two of you want the same thing. You want something stable and secure. But I'm noticing that those knights are facing in different directions. Again, going back to that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Where did I see that? You know, that came out earlier. And it's kind of like... This person gets security off of staying in their power and directing their own course in life. You get security by having a meaningful relationship and feeling like the exchange is fair and balanced. But I'm seeing again, like, see, you want something, you want an even exchange. But I'm seeing over here with this person, I don't mean to talk ugly about them, but, you know, it's a different value system. And on the surface, it might seem like it's the same because you both want stability and security. But again, the way you find stability and security, totally different. And I think for you, this is an unhealed issue going back to that, that justice card with the karma, okay? Unfinished business of you've got this lesson in life, this lesson in love of I've, I need to be able to partner with somebody in love and romance where I can be vulnerable with you. It's safe and I don't have to worry about you stabbing me in the back or in the heart. <laughs> you know, I need, I need a love that evolves, right? I need, I need more than some knights here, right? Knights are under 30. And if we're not talking about an actual age, we're looking at a, um, an immaturity level, okay? Because really what we're after are kings. But again, if I go back to this original, you didn't have, you, the kings were coming up in the reverse. I'm hearing Paula Cole, where have all the cowboys gone? Where have they gone? <laughs> all right, what you need, what you need. Oh, you need an emotional connection. Um, but there's some kind of conflict here, okay? 
what it told me. I just saw something in the upright. Where was it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, there we go with the, um, there's that king. He's in the upright now. Thank you. Um, king of wands, six of pentacles. We got a lot here. Oh, wow. 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 This is like so many damn cards. I'm going to try. I'm going to try Aquarius. Now we're getting kings in the upright and that's about what you need. I just sat there and complained uh, about what you, that you, you know, you, you had all these knights showing up and the only kings were in reverse. Well, what you need is an emotional connection. Um, I do feel like, um, again, here's about the give and take, which I saw with the fish um, and balancing things out, a healthy harmonizing balance, okay? You do need to be independent, you know, back to these dependency issues. Well, you need to be self-sufficient, but you need somebody who is also providing security to you. It's not that you are dependent on them for that, but the, the two of you are both, you know, coming in with healthy inter, interdependency, right? This is not codependency. This is not being counter-dependent. This is being interdependent key difference here two people that are interdependent um but now we've got three kings showing up in the upright we've got the fire sign yet again we've got the water sign yet again now we've got an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i do feel that um you are needing this person to connect with you on an emotional level, even though they are conflicted about it. I think you want them to kind of like power through that or muscle through that and be balanced in the give and take. I think that you, you need, I should say, you need both of you to be independent, interdependent, but I'm getting some kind of this issue with um, being guarded about values and money and emotional fears of this being left alone and neglected. You're going to need to step into your own emotional power on that. You need to step in your own emotional power with this guardedness about being abandoned. Okay, I'm really getting this coming up again. Let me see if I can leave you off with some advice on how to get more love in your life, more love in Aquarius's life. What is the advice for Aquarius getting more love? How can Aquarius get more love? How can Aquarius get more love? That came forward, romance. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Look, this is not easy advice, right? Because we're living in a love phobic culture. I'm going to be putting out a video this month about this. Actually, probably next week. By the time you see this, you'll probably see it like in a week, week and a half. It'll be on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell for notifications. But I think deep down we know this, that the trouble is we're living in a love phobic culture. And so... I do feel that somewhat the advice here is that if you you can't share love with this person, it, this is not a real connection. But some of you need to get romance back into your life. It says lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. I, I feel like it's a return to love is what you're being asked to do, Aquarius. And um, find someone that you can do that with. I know, easier said than done. I live in this matrix just like you. <laughs> but um, that's the advice. And I think that if you follow it, right, things are gonna evolve into this loveliness that we saw from the very beginning, at least that's my hope. All right, till next time, wishing you the best. Be blessed. Okay, thanks for watching to the end. I wanna talk to you guys about private readings. Nothing is as accurate as a private reading, right? Nothing. 
And that's for me because, you know, not only am I pulling cards just for you and only you, but I'm looking at your unique astrology when I do these readings. So as many of you know, I do more than just love readings, but I'm going to speak to the love readings right here. Uh, for those of you who want to know what kind of love readings you can get from me, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to know more about the other readings I have, go to crownedones.weebly.com and you'll see everything that I offer there. Now, briefly, you know, I think the easiest, quickest reading you could get from me is probably like a 12-month love forecast. This is really good for people who are single or, you know, they're trying to make some important decisions with their love life over the next 12 months, and they wanna know, you know, what is the energy supporting? What are the challenges? How do they make the most of it over the next 12 months? Really helpful for that. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do synastry readings between you and that other person where I look at the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. I give advice. I pull cards again based on the astrology and tarot. And I've also got a this or that uh, reading or a should I stay or should I go reading uh, where I've kind of got, you know, these two options that play with the cards where let's say you're choosing between maybe two dating options and i'm looking at the synastry between you and these two people again what are the strengths and weaknesses of either person who should you go with or on the should i stay or should i go um this is if you're in a relationship and you're trying to make the tough decision you know what's going to happen if i stay versus what's going to happen if i go and um, finally, I do offer a reading, which I think is the most important reading you can get, but it is pretty comprehensive. Frankly, I think it's the reading everybody should get first, but it's like two hours long. And for that reason, it's my most expensive reading, which I do offer payment plans for, but um, it's the ideal life partner reading. I personally feel like don't go on a date without it. <laughs> You've got to know, you've got to know, you know, um, your love nature, your sexual nature. Um, what are your needs? Like, who's going to check those boxes? Who's not? I'm going to look at your Juno placement. Who is your ideal life partner? I'm going to look at what's going on in your seventh house, your eighth house, your fifth house. And things like that are going to help you understand yourself better so that when you get in and out of relationships, you understand what works for you and why. Very important reading. Um, but again, everybody's at a different, you know, budget. And so, you know, I even offer a really a custom reading. If you want to come in and just, uh, you have a budget, you have a time frame that you need to work within, um, we can definitely do that. And you can just come in with your own questions and I can answer that. But obviously I can't do, you know, 20 questions in 20 minutes, right? Because um, for those of you who know me well, no, I can go very deep on one question alone, particularly if I've got your astrology, we can go way deep. So if you want to get a private reading with me, like I said, go to crownedones.weebly.com. Would love to work with you. Till next time, be blessed.